Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Let's continue with our very interesting discussion. Allah has said in Quran that whenever you are going out from your house, yes. you need to cover yourself. You need to guard your beauty. You need to be modest. Yes. Because we see most of the men look at women's beauty, they feast at them and they... But surely men should just control themselves. Surely the problem is with men. Surely your I'll, religion, I'll, why I'll, doesn't I'll, your religion like to give an example just for that. teach men to control themselves like instead an example of for that. oppressing women and putting them in these burqas where they can do nothing and keeping them in their home? Women are not at all oppressed, first of all, and I would like to give an example Everyone for that. knows that women are oppressed in Islam. Not for sure. I would like to give for an sure, example for that. ask anyone. I would like to give an example for that. If suppose, no, go on. If suppose I have lakhs of rupees in my house, yeah. it is best for me to lock it properly. If I leave it open, I'm giving no, an invitation you know the best for thing, the thief. The best thing to do with that money is to use it for useful things. So, so the same rupees, thing, you should use your women for useful things. Like send them out to work. Lacks of send, them, send the women out to work instead of keeping it locked away. What's the point of you we have do, a lax we do allow women and you lock to it? Work. Invest it in some business. It's better. Educate the women, send them out to work we instead of locking the them women. away. We do educate the no, women. No, you don't. You lock them away in burqa and they don't get to do anything. <laughs> yes, Mr. Anthony. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I, I can't even read what I've written here. What was your question? I, I don't remember. You don't remember? <laughs> okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah? Is your religion a religion of mercy? Yes, it's a religion so of mercy. How come you chop off the hands of the thieves and you stone people to death and you, know, you whip people for drinking alcohol? What sort of barbaric ancient ridiculous way of treating people is yeah that's exactly what your government does as well isn't it no it doesn't we have a humanitarian compassionate yeah but you hang people uh? you do hang people no we don't you we do don't have the death countries we don't have the death penalty. what are you talking about you're so ignorant you do you do you do no in our country we actually have a law that says that we are not even allowed to send people to another country where the death penalty is. is so we oppose the death penalty totally. What are you talking about? Is this the same country Maybe where confused. women get raped every minute? Maybe you like chopping and killing people so much, you have to think every country is like that. Yeah, but is this the same country where every minute women are getting raped? Not every woman's getting raped. What are you talking about? You look at the statistics. Maybe you're ignorant now. Uh, the, no, I'm not. Yeah, ignorant. you need to check your, no, your I'm not figures. Ignorant. You're, you're ignorant. very bad right now. You're ignorant. You can check. Look at you. Look at you. Who's the most advanced civilization in the world? Us or you? And who is advanced? Who is building technology? Who is? And you? We are ignorant. We, you are ignorant. We are advanced. You are ignorant. That's the reason we We're keep our women in burqa. That's the reason we cut the chop of the hands of ignorant, a thief. Ignorant, primitive Muslims. We do Muslims. not keep them outside railing, looking at the women and bombarding into houses and attacking listen, countries. Listen, right? Your countries are full of women being molested. So get, even your friend get your over there was saying. Right. Get even your, your friend was Saudi saying Arabia over there. And tell me how many women are getting friend, raped every moment. How many houses? You're a these? very rude man. <laughs> you attack my religion? <laughs> yeah. Mashallah, very good dawah, yes? Alhamdulillah. Okay, what was your question? Uh, my question was, uh, why the Prophet Muhammad is a role model when other Prophet is exist? Yeah, so you answer the question now. Okay, I have to answer there's my so many. Yeah, there's so many questions, but you Muslims, you believe the Prophet Muhammad is a role model. Why are not other prophets role models as well? Because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam deal with all kind of problems, but not other prophets. Because other prophets deal with the particular problem. Even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is for all mankind, but okay. rest of the prophets for a, a particular locations. Right. This is the only reasons we are following Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also, yeah. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentioned all those, the, all those laws, those brutal laws, chopping people's heads off and stoning them to death and killing homosexuals. Uh, that's all for all time, yeah. Yes, of course, because, you know, yes, killing, uh, listen, listen, I'll tell you why, why the reason is. You have well, to understand why the concept. Muslim, why your Muslim country is so backward then? No, now you tell me, which country currency is more value than the other countries? Kuwait is a Muslim country, as you think. But no, that, no, doesn't no. So I do that's agree. not a good example. They've only got that money because they've got oil. It's the only reason. It's not because of Islam. No, you are, you, you, you are, you are talking about... are rich because of their system. They're rich because they've got oil. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Not, not... So... But, but, uh, I would like Maybe your religion is not a good example. Mm. Uh, and it's the other question. If Islam, yeah, if Islam is this true religion, 
You believe Islam is the true religion? Yes. You believe it's a way of life for all humanity? Yes. It's the best way to live your life? Yes. Where is this Islam? Where is this way of life? Where is this Sharia? Find me any country implementing these laws and this religion. If it's so good, surely everyone should be doing it. So there's an uh, prophet, uh, so, uh, there's an hadith. Uh, a what? And hadith. Uh, that, that well, I don't understand. What's a hadith? I don't. I never heard of that before. So the hadith is the is the saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Okay, so there's a saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. Ah, okay. Peace be upon. So he said that that surely that you will follow the ways of Jews and the Christians. Yes. So this is the way. Uh, so this is what is happening uh, because. Because today, uh, yes. you, you Jews and the Christians are, yeah. are you know, uh, fabricating the religion of Islam. Ah, okay. So it's all a fault of the Jews and the Christians. Like and your Muslim, friend over there said. And we Muslim, that's just what we were saying. That's the problem, isn't it, with your Quran? Your Quran says, are, it's the Jews' fault. It's the Christians' fault. It's not our fault, is it? It's not the Muslims' fault. It's not your fault. It's the Jews and Christians. They're the ones to blame. So that's why you fight them and kill them and blow them up and attack them, yeah? No, that's not reason. That the reason is that we Muslims are not on, on our feet, you know, are full of confidence in, but in Allah. shouldn't your religion, if your religion is so good, surely you should be following it and practicing it. Yes, we it. Are, are. There are some groups, you know, uh, which follow. What, like Al-Qaeda, yeah? No, Al-Qaeda. Okay. Okay, okay, that's enough, thank you. What was your question? Uh, why did Prophet Muhammad uh, marry ah. So how come your Prophet, yeah, married a girl when she was six? Uh, bro brother and then he consummated it when she was 11. Brother, first you need to understand... And, and you say your religion is example for all time. Well, brother, first you need to understand that uh, uh, prof uh, Muhammad is the Prophet of God. All right? Uh, if you, uh, if how you, can I accept that? Okay. Uh, I, firstly, secondly, I'll uh, I'll explain you. See, if you see the marriage of marriages of uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ooh, what? Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Uh -huh. Now, if you see, if you see the first marriage of uh, Prophet Muhammad. Yes. Now he married to Khadija. She, okay. Okay. She was. Uh, What's that got to do with it? I, I don't. Okay, so he got married lots of time. He's still married a six-year-old girl. No, let six years old. Yeah, let me let me come to that. Would you marry your daughter to someone when she's six years old? See, first, first, let me complete my uh, sentence. No, but what's the? I, I just want to deal with this one issue. She's six years old, and he consummates it when she's eleven. I don't care if he married a hundred-year-old woman or a ninety-year-old woman or a uh, whatever. What I'm worried about, yeah, is that the prophet you claim to believe in married a six-year-old girl. That's what worries me. Yeah, that's, and you that's, answer that, what's going on? Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm answering. Well, you're not, you're talking about Khadija. Yeah, so I, I, will, I will come to that, I will come to that, that part. Because, well, what's the point? Make the yeah. point. Point is that yes. uh, Prophet Muhammad married uh, Khadija at yes. the age of 25. Yeah, okay. And uh, Khadija was uh, 40, right? Yes. Now, if you see, uh, Prophet Muhammad married m many wives, right? Now, he married, he married to Aisha. I don't understand the point. What's your point you're yeah, trying to point, make? The point he is married a six-year-old girl. Answer me, isn't this a problem? In every society in the world, this is a problem today. The, the, the I, even if he married other women and this and that, why does this make it okay? I don't understand. I really don't understand what the point you're trying to make. Okay. Okay. What have we got? Now... You believe your Quran is the word of God. Yes? Yeah. yeah, I believe yeah? You, you believe that, yeah? yeah? So, how come the Quran is so confusing? The Quran is no... Uh, yeah, if you read it, it doesn't start with the beginning and end with the end. You have, you know, it tells a story and then halfway through the story it stops and then it says something else. And then also you have these verses that were abrogated and taken out. It sounds like God's changing his mind. No, because Islam, uh, Quran is not a book of literature. Quran is not what? Book of literature or some uh, story. It is not a book of story. Just okay, I, I, I can understand. It's not a story. Yeah. So but it's very confusing. 
when you try to read it. Not confusing. Because uh, it is for me. I find it confusing. Which verse you want you you are getting confused? I, the whole thing. I mean look, it starts with this Surah Al Fatiha, yeah? Yeah. And then you go to Surah Al Baqarah. Yeah. And then it starts talking about you know, the hypocrites and these people who say they believe and then they don't believe. And then it starts telling you about uh, Adam and the devil, yeah? And then it switches and then it starts talking about Jews. It doesn't even finish the story. It goes from one thing to the next and then it changes and starts telling you some rules and regulations and do this and don't do that. It's going all over the place. You see, the Bible is very nice. In the beginning, it starts in the beginning. Then it says how the creation was started. Then it talks about the history. It's from man made. Today's Bible is from man made. And man made is from. Saying the Bible is not the word of God? Yeah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we're going to take a short break. Don't go away. We're going to be back soon, inshallah. Angelatos. Somebody has all the material needs at their disposal yes. and they're still unhappy. That's when we come in as Muslims to give them uh, the message of Islam. This is the point. Sheikh Karim Abu Zaid. The highest income in the face of this earth is in a country called Sweden. The highest suicide. Where? Sweden. Where? Sweden. Sweden. Shun immorality. Seek forgiveness. Spread righteousness. The hearts of the human are in between two fingers of Allah. Now if you submit to Allah, Allah will place that serenity, that tranquility in your heart. In your heart. Let's speed up to please Allah. Your heart finds peace. This is what the people are missing. This is what the people in the West are missing. They are waiting, they for, are us waiting for us to, to tell them about to it. Tell them about it. Feel the passion of believers to get the blessings of Allah in Hasten to Goodness every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 3.30 a.m. Saudi Arabia on Peace TV. Analyze your mistakes. Have you ever tried to overcome your anger? Realize your weakness. Do you find it difficult to control your tongue? Diagnose your moral sickness. Have you ever felt that your intentions are corrupt? Learn the steps essential to nourish our souls in purification of the soul. Every Thursday at 6 p.m. and repeat telecast at 5.30 a.m. Saudi Arabia on Peace TV. What would you recommend? Peace TV presents something what you have to say about learning the wise way. What would you recommend us to take as career? After we pass our school, so what exactly we should do? What do you have to say about pursuing two fields together? Ideas brilliant. Strategy sustained. The best profession is a profession of a person who invites people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Avail the opportunity with Dr. Zakir. Depending upon what is your interest, but the main aim should be to spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To implement the convincing Islamic come educational formula to excel in your career, watch Career Guidance next on Peace TV. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, welcome back. Let's continue with our very interesting discussion. You see, the Bible is very nice. In the beginning, it starts in the beginning. Then yeah. it says how the creation because was Bible started. Not, then it talks today, about the Bible history. Is not from God. It's huh? from man-made. Today's Bible is from man-made and man-made is uh, from... Saying the, the Bible Syria. is not the word of God? Yeah. So, you know, your Quran is confusing. The Bible is not confusing. The Bible makes a lot of sense. It's easy to understand. Anyone can pick Quran it up and read it. Bible doesn't have mistakes. Bible huh? have mistakes. What? Quran doesn't have mistakes. Bible have scientific mistakes. The Quran has mistakes. Where? Well, you know, for example, it says in one place that a day is like uh, 10,000 years for God. In another place, it says it's like 100,000 years. So which one is it? No, there's, the word uses yom. And yom has different meaning. So you have to take dictionary. Well, it's the same in the Bible. Where? Well, whatever mistakes, it's the same. Just, you just think they're mistakes. They're not really mistakes. No, because the Bible says... Well, that's, See, that's the problem with you Muslims, yeah? 
When no. it comes to your Quran, you'll find any excuse to explain it, but when it comes to the Bible, you'll try every way to find a mistake. That's you... not very honest. I don't like that approach. Okay. Your Quran says there's no compulsion in religion. Yes? Doesn't your Quran say there is no compulsion in religion? Pick out the microphone. So then how come you can kill a person for changing their religion? That's a contradiction, right? Uh, you say the hukm of murt Bab al murtad The what? So uh, once a man which is uh, accept Islam and uh, he know that this path is true and uh, all things have cleared in his mind, then if he returned out... Yeah, but... Why can't again. you just, you know, I feel like trying a different religion, you know? Yeah. I mean, I want to see what it's like to be a Hindu. Maybe, you know, there's something in Hinduism or in Buddhism or in Christianity that I don't find in Islam. Why can't I just try it out for a bit and see if it works? Who cares? Why is it's it so important? It's not compulsion of uh, accepting Islam. So what? You can live in so Islamic I don't, state. I don't care. I want to try this religion. I want to try that religion, you know? I don't understand. If I want to try a different type of coffee, you're going to kill me? You can accept anything. But if you accept Islam once, then Why? you can't... Uh... Why does it make any sense? Your religion says, that your Quran says, no compulsion in religion. And then it says, once you choose this religion, I'm going to compel you to follow it or you'll die. That is punishment for every system if you see. Uh, one... No, we don't have any punishments in UK for that. If you want to follow a different religion, you can follow any religion you like. You do activities against why you, UK. Why are you Muslims so afraid? If it's the truth is so clear, why you have to kill a person for changing their mind? Surely the truth is clear. You don't have to have a sword over people to kill them. If I want to feel like trying a different religion to see how it is, so what? Why does it matter? Isn't God going to judge us all anyway on the end, like you say? Yeah, it is true, isn't it? Okay, I asked you a question already about contradictions in the Qur'an, so let's pass it to you. Okay, this is a good question. How is it possible to worship an invisible God? You can't even see your God, how can you worship Him? How can you have any idea what is this God, who is this God? Doesn't make any sense. Because uh, we know from the Qur'an, Qur'an is a holy book. And it's revealed from Almighty God. What, the one with all the contradictions in and the abrogated verses and the one that doesn't seem to make any sense when you read it. Can you tell me the contradictions? Well, I just told your friend over there. No, no, I can, I can clear the misconceptions if you have. Well, how about the, your Quran says there's no compulsion in religion and you kill people for changing their religion. It's That's not a like contradiction, that. right? Okay, well, let me tell you, let me clear the misconception. Uh, as far as this is concerned, apostasy is concerned, a Muslim uh, can a person can I don't, embrace I don't Islam. really want to talk about apostasy. Okay, a person can embrace Islam and then yeah. it so happened in the, during the time but of what Sahaba. I'm really trying to talk to you about, right, is this invisible God that you're worshipping. Okay. You so, well, does it make any sense? <clears throat> okay. Now, you Muslims, right? You say you shouldn't worship anything or anyone except the one God. Yes. Yeah? But you worship the black stone. And you worship the Kaaba. You turn that direction when you pray. You pray towards it. You kiss the black stone. Yes, you go around the Kaaba. It's the same thing as the no, no. people. They don't really worship idols. They just use them as a center to concentrate and focus their worship. Yeah, no, brother. That is a big difference in them. Uh, what the point I, I want to make that we Muslims believe in a unity and God said uh, for the unity if uh, I will But say, Sayyid Baba says there is only one God. No, no. All uh, of our God I, is the one God. We I all believe say, there's one God. Uh, if I had to say that uh, I want to pray here. Uh, some may say in the east, some may say face the west or some may say any other direction. Who cares? No, We're no. just worshipping God. No, no. But we believe you know in if you worship God by focusing on an idol and this uh, gives you some idea of something about God, then what's wrong with that? So you focus on the Kaaba, we focus on the idol. It's the same thing, right? No, when the God is the creator of uh, all the humankind, he uh, uh, prohibited to make his idol. Why should we make? 
if uh, uh, suppose if uh, I uh, if I help you, if that's I, what you say. If I help, that's you, not what I say. You say something different, right? No, no. Uh, you say one thing, I say something else. No, no, brother. Why should I believe you? Uh, Which see, is the oldest religion? Oldest religion is the Islam. It is Hinduism is the oldest religion. Everyone knows that. No, every every religion t teaches the basic Hinduism thing is of the oneness oldest of the religion. But it teaches the oneness of God only. True concept of God in yeah, Hinduism is also oneness I, of God. I said already, there's only one God. Yes. Whether you're Muslim, you're yes. Sikh, you're Hindu, yes. you're Christian, there's one yes, God. Exactly. We just worship God. There's many paths to the top of the mountain. You don't have to just take one way. When they climb Everest, there's many routes to the mountain. No, no, you can we, follow one way or this way. There's all different ways to the mountain. All the roads uh, don't lead to Rome. We cannot make our roads to go to the destination. When God created us and He said, this is the way, this is the way. The path of uh, Hinduism is a path. Of man the path of Christianity of man is a path and they're all different paths. No, they're not invented. The other religions, the Hinduism and the, the, the Judaism and the, the all religions are corrupted. And the man have... Well, uh, that's what you say. Has, the man has uh, changed the religion. Say. And for themselves, so for themselves and easy for them. But and you're they just have, insulting they have other made religions the, now. You're just saying that. anyone can say that. Oh, this is corrupted. This is corrupted. This is bad. This is wrong. We have proof for them. Say. We have proof for them. It doesn't matter. We have proof for that. It doesn't matter because the concept is a simple concept. Whether this has changed or that's changed a little bit here or there, even if it was true, it doesn't matter. Okay, suppose. Still, the concept is there. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. You believe your God. Yeah, yeah. yeah, is all powerful and almighty. Yeah, yes. Yep. So, if your God is all powerful and almighty, can He create a stone bigger than that which He can lift? Can you repeat your question, can, please? Can your God huh? create a stone yeah, yeah. that is too heavy huh? for Him to lift? Too heavy to lift? To him. lift? Yeah, for Him to lift. If He can't do it, then He can't do everything. Allah says in the Quran. When he, he wants to do anything, he says, Kun, Fayukun. He just orders. Okay, so he can, he can create a stone bigger than he can lift. So the stone will be bigger than him. He has the The power. stone will be bigger than him. No, it so can't be. So then something greater than him. No, nothing is greater than him. What I said to you that he said it's in the Quran. It's a contradiction said, that. What is contradiction? He said in the Quran that what he said, he said, Kun, Fayukun. He said, do. It's so therefore, you're saying. God can create a stone that is bigger than he can lift. Yeah, he, he just can. He's say, the creator of the creation. Okay, so but he then if he can't anything. lift it, he's not all-powerful. He can lift him. He's powerful. He's the no, creator of you, the creation. That's the point. We just what said is the point? that... I just asked you the question. Can he create a stone that is bigger than what he can well, lift? I answered you the and same you said thing. yes. I answered and then the you said thing. then he can lift it. Yeah, he can lift it. Then he can't create a stone bigger than he can lift. He's it's a contradiction. What is the purpose of your creation? doesn't make any sense. Can you say anything? You're not making any sense. It is making a sense. You religious people never make any sense. You're not listening to what I mean to say you. There's no logic, no reason. Just talk. Oh dear me, you brothers, honestly, honestly, honestly. What have we got now? Mm. Okay. So, you believe that when we die, we will be, after we are dust and bones, then you will come back to life. Yeah, it's true. You believe that? Yeah, we believe in resurrection. Do you believe there's also fairies in the bottom of the garden? No. No? Are you sure? Do you believe in Father Christmas maybe as well? Pardon? I mean, what other crazy things do you believe in? We have the concept of God. Uh, yeah. Uh, we believe that God created the world and there are some things we can't understand. So we have to believe in that. Believe in the unseen. That's the test of life. Hey, that's what all these religious people say. Just have faith. Just believe. Believe in the idols. Believe in reincarnation. Believe in Jesus. He died for your sins. Believe in the resurrection after death. Just believe. Just believe. Believe the mullah. Believe the imam. Believe the priest. Better to believe in science, right? Isn't it? At least science with science, you have evidence, you have proof. Yeah, but God created science. Examination. What is science? God created God, science. God, which God? What God are you talking about? The, the superpower who created all the things that exist in the world. What superpower? Listen, life is just a random event. It's just a coincidence. What God? 
There's so much evil in the world. You say you believe in this God. There's so much evil. There's so much suffering. Isn't it just more intelligent to believe that this is just a coincidence? Just life is bad, you die. That's it. It's just nature. Why you need a God? No, how can this be, this be why, happen? Why do you the need whole world, how can it be a coincidence? We, well, we that's, have what science, science, that's what science we says. We have a Big Bang Theory. Isn't that what science says? We, we have a Big Bang Theory which, which says that only uh, the the explosion that happened, uh, it just happened for a uh, okay. milli, uh, millionth of a second. Uh, if it was well, after it's... that or uh, before that, it couldn't have happened. Okay, that's it for now, brothers and sisters. See you for the next exciting episode, Dao Workshop. <laughs>